I want to thank um, everybody for being here today. Um, my name is David Valeski, a member of the Independent Democratic Conference. I'm joined by uh, my three IDC colleagues, Senator David Carlucci, Senator Jeff Klein, and Senator Diane Savino. Uh, we have some special guests with us today uh, talking about our latest report and a legislative initiative that we have uh, introduced uh, earlier today. We also have with us, and we'll hear from in just a few moments, Julie Suarez, who's the Director of Public Policy from the New York State Farm Bureau. We have Tom Ertz, the Vice President of Human Resources and Community Affairs from ShopRite Supermarkets. Dennis Martin, the District Manager for Hannaford Supermarkets. We have Pete Tenaik of Indian Ladder Farms in Altamont. And Max Crisp is the owner of American Burrito, which is a chain of restaurants located in Rockland County. I want to thank all of our uh, special guests for joining us today. As you may know, today is a small business lobby day here at the Capitol. Uh, and we are using the opportunity to talk about some of our most important small businesses here in New York State. Uh, the uh, agriculture industry that is made up of uh, thousands of small and medium-sized family farms across the state uh, helped to form the backbone of our economy here in the Empire State. The hundreds and hundreds of restaurants and supermarkets uh, that make available locally grown products, they are uh, integral components of our uh, economy and of our economic uh, recovery here in New York State. We have had uh, in New York for the last 15 years or so a very successful program known as Pride of New York. I know you are all aware of it and, all of, uh, and are aware of the good work that it does in helping to promote locally grown produce. We have seen in recent years, and I'm sure you're aware, an incredible increase in demand, consumer demand, uh, for locally grown products, New York State homegrown products. Uh, we're seeing it all across the state. We're seeing it also uh, as evidenced in our supermarkets and in our restaurants. So we have issued uh, a report, we the IDC, uh, looking for ways to enhance uh, the Pride program to uh, increase the supply of locally grown uh, products to meet the increase in demand. Uh, Senator Carlucci is going to uh, explain for you our legislative initiative uh, that will expand the Pride of New York pro uh, program into Shop New York and Dine New York. Senator? Thank you, Senator Valeski. Uh, under these programs, any restaurant that has at least 15% of its ingredients uh, purchased from the state of New York, locally grown products, uh, will be able to qualify for the Dine Pride of New York program. Uh, in addition to that, any market, any supermarket, store that sells at least 20 items uh, that were grown in New York or produced and packaged in New York State uh, will be able to qualify for the Dine, uh, the Shop Pride of New York program. Uh, these programs will be run by the Department of Agriculture um, in cooperation with the Empire State Development Corporation. Uh, they'll be in charge of promoting uh, the Pride of New York program. Uh, this legislation also calls for the Department of Agriculture to list on its website uh, the organizations, the businesses that are participating in the program. Uh, this legislation isn't designed to change people's attitudes. Uh, we know and understand that the demand is there. Uh, this legislation is geared towards linking the two, making sure that consumers are directed and using that purchasing power to buy these types of products. A 2011 poll from the National Grocers Association showed that 86% of shoppers said that the presence of local foods in their stores was the determining factor in where they shopped. Uh, that ranked even higher than cost savings. Uh, in the same survey, more than 40% of shoppers also said that the further expansion of available local products was at the top of their wish list. Uh, we've also seen a great growth in direct sales between local farmers and the public, uh, but that system of distribution is not limitless, and we want to make sure that we can increase that. Uh, we want to make sure that we're directing the consumers and using that purchasing power to help promote and grow local businesses here in New York State. Uh, and to do that, we want to make sure that the Dine and Shop Pride of New York programs uh, and these symbols that you see right here in front of you become the good housekeeping seals of approval uh, for all who want to buy and eat local grown foods. 
Uh, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to Senator Klein, who will talk a bit about the economic impact of these proposals. <coughs> Senator Klein. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Senator Carlucci. I want to thank uh, my other colleagues uh, in the Independent Democratic Conference. Uh, I'm going to talk about the economic benefits, and I think uh, they're very, very important, and I think uh, a tremendous way uh, for us uh, to benefit everyone. Uh, make sure there's an economic uh, impetus for, for restaurants uh, around the state uh, who uh, choose to use uh, locally grown uh, produce or use New York products, uh, as well as the uh, wholesalers and uh, really, of course, our farmers, uh, which is a major industry uh, here in the state of New York. Uh, in Bronx County, uh, which actually under the new Senate lines is going to be in my district, uh, is the Hunts Point Market. Uh, the largest food distribution center uh, in the United States, and I believe second in the world. And uh, I've toured uh, the facility for years, and I always question uh, why there isn't enough New York produce. Uh, and they tell me constantly, a uh, Jersey Fresh program, an older program, uh, much better established, much better than what we ha have in New York. And uh, it's, it's really, uh, I think, uh, really a shame, uh, because I think uh, we should be buying New York. Uh, not only because it's the right thing to do, uh, it's good for business uh, and good for our economy. Uh, so uh, New York City, uh, I think, is ripe uh, to be able to uh, make uh, lots of money uh, by uh, promoting uh, New York products. In New York City, uh, there's 24,000 restaurants and over 5,000 retail stores. Uh, this is an incredible market for state farmers to grow their business. Uh, with initiatives like Dine and Shop, Pride of New York, we can encourage local retailers and restaurants to join farmers uh, in the locally grown movement. You know, whenever they have uh, a farmer's market, uh, any place uh, in New York City, uh, there's mobs and mobs of people, uh, you know, waiting to get that local produce. And by the way, they'll even pay a couple extra dollars or a couple extra cents uh, to buy New York. Uh, you know, statistics have proven that. Uh, so I think uh, based on past surveys of New York City restaurants and retailers, there's an estimated $700 million in unmet citywide demand uh, for locally grown products. Uh, and if you look at the numbers presently, uh, while we have more than 7,000 state farmers currently selling directly to consumers, only about 2,000 of them uh, sell to restaurants and retail wholesalers. So uh, we're missing an opportunity. And I think uh, by enhancing uh, this program that already exists uh, under the auspice of the State Department of Agriculture and Markets, uh, we can do a much better job in really jump-starting our economy, uh, not only upstate, uh, but uh, downstate as well. So uh, I now turn it over to uh, Senator Diane Savino, who's going to talk about uh, what other states uh, have been doing uh, to promote local produce. Thank you, Senator Klein. I also want to thank Senator Carlucci and Valeski and everyone that's here today with us on this announcement of expanding the pride of New York. We know that these promotional programs work. We've seen them work in other states. As Senator Klein said, New Jersey has had Jersey Fresh in place for a long time. It's been particularly successful for New Jersey, so much so that far too much of the fruit and vegetables that we get in New York come from New Jersey. They branded it and people buy it. In Pennsylvania, they have the PA Preferred logo. Now, we've had the Pride of New York campaign here in New York State since the 1990s. I'm wearing the little button here right now. But not enough people associate New York with the uh, purchase of farm fresh goods. We forget that New York State, the largest economy here in New York State is agriculture. It is not the financial service industry. The second largest economy in New York State is not the financial service industry. It's tourism. So tourism also has the hospitality industry and the restaurant industry. This is a perfect marriage of these interests where we can expand access to, good, to goods from upstate New York from our farms. We can marry them with our communities downstate where we desperately need it. We can market it to people. And if you recall, yesterday in the, in the New York Times, there was an article about the expansion of the Nets Arena downtown Brooklyn and all of the economic activity that's coming along with it and all of the new restaurants. And many of those restaurants are interested in becoming farm-to-table restaurants. This is an opportunity for us to help make that happen. So I'm very happy that we're here today announcing this. We believe that the Dine and Shop New York will not only be a beacon to other businesses, but a sales increase at certified businesses, others will follow their example and amplify their purchases of state products. So a clear and strong guide to consumers who want to eat local and support New York farmers is at hand. We can do it with the Shop and Dine Pride New York. So thank you, everyone, for coming. And now we're going to hear from some of the people in the industry. Huh? 
Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me here today. First thing I want to do is I want to thank the four senators for inviting myself and my colleagues here today to talk about this very important initiative. We're all linked here together by the great passion and pride we have for the great state of New York in which we live and our desire to connect customers with the products that they have. At ShopRite Supermarkets, we take great pride in connecting with our communities. So to us, this type of legislation is a win-win. Retailers win, consumers win, restaurants win, everybody wins, and everybody gets to show off the great products that we have in New York State. In a recent Mintel survey, consumers are saying 52% prefer local to organic produce. This is an important statistic that we at retailers have to listen to and react to. So we're very, very happy to be here today to partner with these other great businesses and the great legislators on this important initiative. Thank you. Good afternoon. <clears throat> um, I'm very excited to be here uh, representing Hannaford Supermarkets. When I say we're really excited about this new program and we want to support it to as much as, as extent as we can. I also congratulate Senator Klein, Savini, Valeski, and Carlucci for bringing this for forward for our state of New York. Uh, we think it's very important for buying local products and establishing a program that encourages both our shoppers and our retailers to support our local food providers. Hannaford Supermarkets has a long and outstanding commitment to locally grown foods and pr products produced in states that we do business. We are proud to provide customers with the freshest and best tasting products available. Also, shopping local also preserves the local farmland and open spaces in the communities where we live. Hannaford is dedicated and committed to our resources and discovering and supporting local food producers. Additionally, our, our close to home program makes it simple for customers to find locally produced programs and uh, products, excuse me, that are produced within our great state of New York. Uh, we also look forward to being, to being part of the Shop Pride of New York program, and we certainly pledge to continue to work with our local farms and food producers to provide our shoppers with the best and freshest product available. One of the farmers that we do business with, with is Peter Tenneyck from the Indian Ladder Farms of Altamont, New York. I'd like to invite him up here now to talk about his farm. Senators. Dennis, thank you. Uh, I'm Pete Tanaik, uh, Indian Ladder Farms. Uh, this is our beginning of our 97th year uh, growing apples and blueberries and raspberries and cherries. And, and we think when we do that, everybody wins. Uh, I, I'm just so excited about this program because the thing that's got me so much is that we got to stop sliding down the slippery slope as a nation of feeding ourselves by waving money in the air and hoping that somebody brings us something to eat. Uh, that may not always happen. We have to find a way to be able to produce some of our own food within the fabric of our own communities where we live, uh, just in case. And so I thank the senators uh, for helping to grease the skids a little bit so that uh, hopefully we can do more of this in, in the future and, and be proud of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Max, we'll have you speak from the restaurant perspective and then finish up with you. Great. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Senator Halucci for inviting me up here. Uh, shows that he really cares about small businesses in his district, and it really means a lot. So thank you. Um, I'm really excited. I don't know how many people in this room have had an $8 burrito that's packed with fresh pico de gallo made from tomatoes, uh, cilantro, onions, uh, grown uh, two miles away. Uh, that's what this legislation, yeah, it's making me hungry too. <laughs> that's what this legislation brings uh, to the state of New York. Uh, restaurants like myself, uh, I, I do it already, but restaurants like myself will ingratiate uh, the notion of hitting other demographics. I mean, it's been, they've been serving mescaline salads and bistros for, you know, you know decades and decades, but it's this demographic of the under, 20, under 25 uh, with little disposable income uh, that's not getting the, uh, the shot at these fresh products and produce that are being grown right in our backyard. And if we open this up to retailers to promote, and restaurants like myself, to promote these types of goods and services that are locally grown, we're going to open up an entirely new demographic and, and start training these palates of these young kids uh, to love what's grown in the backyard. And uh, I couldn't be more excited about this legislation. I really appreciate you guys bringing me up here today. And I'm really looking forward to this uh, 
really bringing fresh produce to the table because it's not just about dollars and cents. It's also about quality. And a lot of times we're getting quality, like uh, this gentleman said here, the quality is getting lost. And we want to bring that back. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. I represent New York Farm Bureau. We're the state's largest general agricultural advocacy organization. And we've been strong supporters of the Pride of New York program for our farmer members for many years, run very well by the Department of Agriculture and Markets. But I really have to thank the leadership of the IDC today and the senators here because they really uh, helped bring even more awareness to the fact that the buy local trend is just simply not a trend anymore, it's a fact of life. And providing more and more tools to our members and creating synergies between our members, grocery stores, restaurants, will only create a win-win situation both economically for our communities in both upstate and downstate. And again, we really appreciate the IDC's leadership on this issue and for really helping us forge more connections between our farmer members like Peter and the people who the clientele that we want to feed. So thank you. Thank you, Julie. Uh, questions for any of the senators here or any of our special guests? Is there any estimated cost associated with this center? Cost we envision to be relatively minimal. Uh, again, the Pride is, a, is an existing marketing program already. Uh, so the development of, of, of two additional uh, branding elements uh, we think can be accomplished relatively simply within the exist existing Pride of New York uh, budget within the Agriculture Department. We, we reached out to some of the other states that have done these programs. Uh, we talked to someone in Nevada that does this program. They said you know, they spent $800 on, on 1,000 decals. And the idea is we'll start them off with the decals that they can put in their window, uh, give them the digital copy that they can put in advertisements on their website, um, and then in the future, if they need to purchase products, they can purchase them uh, from the Department of Agriculture, and that will be at the discretion of the Commissioner of Agriculture of what that would cost to the local proprietor. These are concepts that we've come up with. The, the, the bill uh, that has been introduced is actually directing the Department of Agriculture and Markets to design uh, uh, what they each would look like. So these are a sample of what uh, we envision. Let, let me speak for one minute on that. Um, the, other, the other great thing about this legislation is that um, it's, it's an exciting thing for restaurants because I want people to know there is a demand. We've already talked about the demand from consumers. So it, as long as they give me the tools, I'm going to do what I can for my brand to let people know that this is what we're, we're serving, we're purchasing fresh produce, and we're serving it in our food. Come to my store. So one of the great things about this legislation is it's sort of, they're, they're giving us the tools, but the, the expense is going to be, you know, spread out amongst the retailers. So, right. And to Max's point, I mean, some real smart business owners are doing this already. American Burrito, ShopRite, Hannaford, see right here with ShopRite. And we want to just enhance that. Uh, the smart business people are doing it already. We want to link uh, that purchasing power, the, the consumer that wants to find these products, be able to easily locate them mm -hmm. and allow those business uh, people to succeed and really capture that purchasing power that we have here in New York and, and really grow the economy that way. Mm -hmm. Is anybody carrying this in the assembly yet? Uh, we've reached out to Assemblyman McGee, the chair of the uh, Agriculture Committee in the assembly. Is there any connection to the wine grocery stores issue? I mean, that's we've heard a lot about, you know, promoting New York wines and, and getting them in supermarkets. Would this uh, in any way affect that? Yeah. No, there's no direct connection uh, to that proposal, uh, but it certainly is intended to uh, help the uh, wine industry in the state uh, as well as all uh, local uh, agriculture industries. Yeah, it gives, so it gives, restaurant yeah, gives restaurants yeah. the ability to promote exactly. local wines, New York State mm -hmm. wines. Right. I, it would, I, I would imagine just with, with 20 products being sort of the threshold for a, a market to get that designation, I mean that that's a that's a it's a fairly easy bar for for supermarkets to meet. I just the oh, Greek yogurt aisle, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm almost with we'll let our, our supermarket the representatives yeah, yeah, come so in on the level. Yes, it it is very achievable, but I think the design, and I don't want to speak for the senators, is to gain more participation. It's not just about a retailer having the product, it's about exposing New York product and the pride we have in New York product and connecting our consumers with that product in a highly visible way to get them to uh, come out and spend more on it. Because I think consumers really want the product, it's about creating those connections and relationships. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.